How are you doing? This is Noel from Cree Restaurant Chalil. I'm here in the Ballycaig Resource Centre, continuing with our cooking videos. Now I'm going to do a chowder for you, and then I'm going to show you how to take that chowder to a fish pie. And it's an easy dish, make one large, and then you can take it on. And so we get ready to go. So pot on, grape seed oil again, and again, onions and garlic into this. A little bit of both. Now here you're going to add some chopped up carrots. Then in there, I've got some leek and celery. Put these in here. Nice bit of leek into it, goes very well with fish. We always put a good bit in. Now straight away I'm going to season the veg. So I want to get the flavour straight away out of that veg. Add your pepper in as well. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cook these down for a couple of minutes to get the veg cooked because the fish will be really, really quickly. So, local fish shop. They always do a selection of like a, of this chopped up veg or chopped up fish. So there's a bit of smoked haddock, a bit of salmon, cod, all in there. So you'll find it in any fish shop at all. They'll always have a little section with, with this on it. That's about a pound worth that'll make quite a lot of chowder. So I said we're going to take this on to a fish pie then straight afterwards. Now, once your veg is in and it's cooking, that there, just watch it case it soaks up your oil. Don't let the pan go dry. Your veg will start fetching and it leaves a bitterness behind us. So we're just going to leave this cook for a minute or two and then we're going to add some wine and then we're going to build our dish up. So that's just going to take about two minutes there of cooking. So now we've given that two minutes, we've cooked it down a little bit and we're going to add in our fish. Get that in there. Now when you add your fish you don't want to stir too strongly because you'll break up your fish so just be gentle and more fold nice and gently. Now again, I'm just going to add a little bit of butter in at this point. Great flavour with the fish butter. Butter and fish are great together. I'm going to give it a little bit of lemon juice. Again, with the fish, it's fabulous. So, as I said, won't be vigorous here. Nice and gentle. I'm just trying to turn it. Just want to get the fish starting to cook. And then we're going to start building our sauce up and the fish will cook and infuse the sauce as we build. You don't want to be rough with it at this point now at all. So, now we're going to add our wine. So again, it's the same story with the wine, we're adding it to a good hot pan. That's going to burn off the alcohol. Now a good half glass of wine into that, just about a pound of fish in there. Most of a carrot, not a particularly big carrot, a little bit of leek, maybe two stalks of celery. About half a leek gone in there. This will make chowder for quite a few. So you can see it's starting to bubble up now straight away. So nice and gentle. And as I said now, as the, the natural oils come out of the fish, they're going into that sauce, and that's what's going to help us build our flavor inside of the sauce. So that is going to take a few minutes, and then we'll come back in a minute, and we'll be good to go again. So now we're just gonna give that another quick season. Now I'm using sea salt, I don't ever use anything else other than sea salt. It's far nicer, far better for you. Another good twist of pepper in there. Now, I'm going to drop in a bullion cube. Now this is veg bullion. If I'm making a chowder or fish pie, I would always use veg bullion, not fish bullion. I don't want to overpower the flavors. Nice veg bullion, just going to drop that in. We're going to add milk into this. We will be finishing with a little bit of cream. But you don't want to be filling it up with cream, so I'm going to add in that. Just milk. Now again, very gently. Just want that. So what we're going to do now is wait for that to come back up to the boil. Then we're going to taste it to make sure our flavourings and our seasonings are right, and then we're going to thicken it. Very simple. We're just going to use corn flour to thicken it. Um, one of the easiest ways of taking something like this, and you see that you want to keep your fish nice and chunky inside in it. You want to be nice and gentle when you're mixing it. And that is going to take a minute or two just to come up to the boil and then start to thicken. Now that has just started to boil, so we don't want to get it over boiling now at all. We're just going to give that a little taste and taste. That'll do nicely. So now we just want to thicken our sauce because that's white. So what I just have here is a couple of tablespoons of corn flour and some water mixed. That's it. Nice and simple. 
now if you're capable of going down the road of making a roux and making the sauce up that way, do. You know, but for most people, it's the easiest way of doing it. Plus, if you have somebody with gluten allergies, corn flour is much better off. So now, that's going to thicken very, very quickly and get very, very thick. Very quickly. Now, don't worry if you over thicken it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to over thicken this to show you. So, it'll thicken very, very fast. So as you can see now, very quickly, that's getting too thick. So if you're standing there and you're going, oh my God, I've overtaken the chowder. Milk, add it in, and just bring it back. You can also just add a little bit of water. And straight away, you start to loosen it up. So don't be worried that if you over thicken this, it's a very easy thing to solve very, very quickly. There we go. And all of a sudden you're bringing it back. So as I said, you can use a little bit of water, a little bit of milk, and so don't be worried about the over thickening bit. So now we're just going to add a bit of cream to this to enrich the whole thing again. And to bring it up to that lovely white colour you traditionally have with chowder. And that is a nice easy seafood chowder. And as I said, eat all the time very gently because you don't want to make absolute, you don't want your fish falling asunder altogether. You still want chunks of fish in there. So you do a folding motion and that just makes sure that everything is gets incorporated but you're not breaking up your fish. Nice and gentle. And that's it. There you go. Here's your chowder. Nice and thick with veg, loads of fish. Now, isn't that lovely? See, just wait, the fish is still in big chunks inside in us. Now, so that is our seafood chowder. So for now, I'm gonna show you how to take this to a fish pie very, very simply. So if you like fish pies and you like chowder, make extra of this, then you're gonna eat. And then the next bit will show you how to take it into a very simple fish pie. Okay, so we're going to set up now and show you how to make a fish pie. So there we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ladle this out and into my tray. Now, if you were going making a chowder for yourself and you'd like the idea of making the fish pie, make way extra chowder. And the night before, whatever you're having for dinner, if you're having mash, make extra mash. Let them both go cold. It's far easier to do this when it's cold. And you can pop this, once it's cold, straight into your freezer. Just wrap it in some cling film, bang it into your freezer, and then take it out the night before you want this, straight into the oven, and you're done. And that way, you have another dinner set up for yourself. So what I have here is just mash. So it's just some after potatoes, some salt and pepper, a bit of milk and cream. I'm gonna crack an egg into it. What the egg is going to do is give you that lovely crust on the top when you bake it. So just mix it around and that's going to give you the golden crust on top of your fish pipe. Just pop in an egg. Now if you want to, you can put this in a piping bag and pipe it all in. It's an awful lot of fuss. You're just going to lob it on top. So that's that. Now this is not going to sit brilliantly on this because it's Pipe and hot, but we're just going to bang that in on top of our pie. We're going to throw this in the oven, and literally in a few minutes, we're going to have a lovely fish pie. So, get plenty of potato on the top, not more than being skimpy about it. You want a nice mix between the filling inside and the crust on top. You don't want loads of one and little of the other. So there we go. Nice and rustic. Just give it a little thing. And voila, that's ready to go. And as I said, now, if this was cold, put that into your freezer. Just wrap it in cling film, put that in your freezer. It's ready to go. So the night before you want this, pop it out into your fridge. And then when you come home, you've got a fish pie ready to go. So we'll pop that in the oven and we'll come back to it later. So once you pop, if that's been in your fridge overnight and it's stone cold, switch home going in, about 25-30 minutes, 180 um, on your oven, and in 25-30 minutes you'll see it, it'll be bubbling the whole lot, I'll show you that in a minute now and it'll be bubbling around the edges, it'll be the same thing. Don't do it from frozen, it will not cook out properly. So take it out the night before, put it in the fridge, it'll defrost overnight, come home, bang it into your oven, 180, already hot oven at 180, about 25-30 minutes, gives you enough time to kick off the shoes, relax, get a glass of wine. You have a lovely fish pie.